What are the Earth subsystems? Do you have an idea what are those? So today, we are going to learn the subsystems of the Earth. Subsystems of the Earth The Four subsystems of the Earth are 1. Atmosphere It is the gaseous layer above the Earth's surface, primarily composed of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Other gases like argon, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, ozone, and other inert gases made the remaining 1%. The atmosphere supports life because animals and oxygen, and plants need both carbon dioxide and oxygen. In addition, the atmosphere supports life indirectly by regulating climate. Air acts as both a blanket and a filter, retaining heat at night and shielding from direct solar radiation during the day. Two, biosphere, the zone of Earth where all forms of life exist, in the sea, on land, and in water. It is sometimes called as the large ecosystem. This is the zone that life inhabits. Biosphere is a very thin layer of the Earth's surface. Geosphere, the solid Earth, consisting of the entire planet from the center of the core to the outer crust. It includes the core, mantle, and crust of the Earth.
hydrosphere, the water part of the Earth which circulates among oceans, continents, glaciers, and atmosphere. Oceans cover 71% of the Earth and contain 97.5% of its water. According to John Muir, when one tugs at a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. What does he mean especially in relation to Earth subsystems? He simply elucidates that Earth is a complex system made up of many smaller systems through which matter and energy are continuously cycled. Energy and matter flow through Earth's spheres, geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. Energy flows through the atmosphere mostly by convection. How does matter and energy flow across the four subsystems of the Earth? The Earth consists of four subsystems, across whose boundaries matter and energy flows, the atmosphere, air, biosphere, living things, hydrosphere, water, and geosphere, land. The atmosphere provides the geosphere with heat and energy needed for rock breakdown and erosion. The biosphere receives gases, heat, and sunlight, energy from the atmosphere. It receives water from the hydrosphere and a living medium from the geosphere. The human population has increased rapidly since the 1700s. For most of human history, there were fewer than half billion people on Earth. In mid-2009, 6.7 billion people inhabited our planet. Because of these, extensive pollution is everywhere. As a student, what can you do to save not only a particular system, but the Earth itself? These are some of the possible examples you can help to save Mother Earth. Plant Trees Advocate Clean and Green Program Conservation of Water and Energy Family Planning, for Married, Reduce, Reuse and Recycle Sustainable Development references thank you for listening don't forget to like subscribe click the notification bell and share